A warm welcome to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about the placement of Mars in the 6th house and how it affects through its aspects, through its conjunction etc. But before that a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels, writing in your comments and your suggestions and helping us to move in a better way. If you haven't subscribed to us, please remember to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. Mars, when placed in the fifth house, in the sixth house as per Saravali by Maharaj Kalyan Verma, it states that such a person becomes a very strong person, a person with an ability to face the deadliest of enemies and come out strong. Such people have great digestive powers, they are good to look at, they are rudy, they are charming and they are also libidious. These people have the ability to make their mark wherever they go. They may not inherit a lot of ancestral properties, may also lose out on account of ancestral properties, but nevertheless have the ability and do make their own wealth in no time at all. These people are well respected by their relatives. They may have certain issues to reckon with with their mother because as I would say later on, we might find the reason for it that Mars is in the third from the fourth house talking about probably a, a problem with the relatives in the mother's Side and are ones who have the ability to finish, to do whatever work they choose to in life. So when we talk about the positions of Mars as per classics, this is one of the best positions that one can have in their chart. Why is it said like that? Let us look into it through the angle of aspects also. When Mars is placed in the 6th house, it is also said to be the Karak of the 6th house. The 6th house is said to be our Prarabh. It is said to be the house of the way one works and wherever that Mars sits, it expands its energy. So whatever work one takes up, whatever work one decides to do, he would put in all his energy there and become victorious. The third, the sixth house is also said to be the house of enemy and we know that Mars gets exalted in its enemy's house. Thereby, here it gives Mars the ability to conquer over its enemies. Thus, any person who has a Mars sitting in its fifth house has a great, uh, sorry, sixth house has a great chance in getting good results in competitive exams. Mars, when sitting in the 6th house, if it is sitting in nakshatras like Adra, Mula or for that matter Purva Bhadra can be a little dangerous because those people can be absolutely foolhardy at times and can cause problems to their own self by their 8th aspect on the Lagna. So this here becomes a prominent case of Swahanta yoga. So the eighth aspect of Mars depending on the kind of nakshatra it is sitting in will definitely have a lot of impact on the lagna. In soft nakshatras those that same swahanta yoga will magnify, will amplify but not to that degree as I told you when it sits in its mula uh, <clears throat> or adra or purva bhadra or for that matter even Magha. Let us talk about the fourth aspect. When Mars is sitting in the sixth house, it tends to aspect the ninth house with its fourth aspect. I have made a video on this and said that the fourth aspect of Mars is as I find it a protective aspect because Mars here uh, is kind of protecting its own mother. 4th house to ninth house aspect is protecting your culture, your tradition, your 
father's heritage, all those things included. Now, one thing that I would always request all of you to understand is see which sign that this Mars is placed in. That's important because which signs will also change the Lagna. In case Mars is uh, the root, is the Yoga Karaka for uh, Lagnas like Cancer and for Lagna like Leo, it's a Yoga Karaka. Then what happens? In such case, the Yoga Karaka, wherever it sits, gives great results through the house it is sitting in for the houses that it owns. So, for the Cancer Lagna, it as it owns the 5th house and the 10th house and if it is sitting in the 6th house, it is giving you an ability to be very straight in the work that you are doing, be very thorough, be very uh, determined and do a lot of research, put in a passion in your work and come out victorious. Whereas for the Leo Lagna, as it owns the 4th house and the ninth house and when it sits in the sixth house, it gets not just in the sixth house victorious but it is also sitting in its house of exaltation thereby taking no prisoners. Wherever that person works, that person will be the supreme in whatever he or she does. Now let us talk about what happens when it is an akarak for the Lagna, that it, it is not a very conducive planet for the Lagna. For the Gemini Lagnas, it is not a very conducive, uh, Mercury Lagnas, it is not a very conducive planet. It is the third or the eighth lord or the sixth and the eleventh lord. In such cases, whenever it is sitting in the sixth house, say for the Gemini Lagna, sixth house becomes its own house. It will do good for its own house. Do not forget a basic rule that we are going to teach in detail in our upcoming basic classes that when planets sitting in their own houses, good or bad does not matter, it will always do good for its own house. And for the Lagna of Gem, for the Lagna of Virgo, when it is sitting in its sixth house, then a part of it is its own nakshatra. If it is sitting in its own nakshatra, it gives you an ability to become very strong in life and to become probably one of the heads of whichever company you are working in. Obviously, you take into account the Desh Kalpatra, but when it is sitting in the other two nakshatras, it will give you a tendency not to take any prisoners, not to be compassionate and probably that is where you will cause problems for your own self. Again, we should not be forgetting the Karakas that this Mars has. What is its natural quality? Mars is a warrior. Mars is in effect also the general. So, wherever that Mars sits, it will be ready for war, it is ready for action no matter where, which house it is sitting. If it is an own house, then obviously that house will proliferate, obviously that house will show a lot of activity. But if it is in the house of the enemy, then also Mars is unafraid to conquer the enemy. My only contention here is, then there it can become a little too brash, a little too conquering. So, there are a lot of things that you can see when a planet and why is it that the um, elderly or our sages have say, said that is something that we can very well make out if we understand these concepts like aspect, like lagna, etc. Let us come to the charts. One of the classic examples of winning of a competition is Lata Mangeshkar. Lata Mangeshkar is a Taurus lagna or was a Taurus Lagna and her Mars is placed in the 6th house with Ketu. Typically seen, she always won over her competitors and she had the ability to do good for herself wherever that she went. And that is why we can very well say that this Mars in the 6th house brings in victory, brings in a lot of good results and has also got the ability to make you 
one of the supreme people in your life. Being associated with Ketu, it brings in those habits that one has been instilled from past life and to win over, to work hard, to get your achieved desires and goals. Again, she took over the business of her father. She preserved her culture and her heritage as it aspects her ninth house. All this is something that this Mars along with Ketu gave her an ability to do. Let's not forget, her Mars is in Chitra Nakshatra, the Nakshatra of creativity and Ketu in Vishakha, the Nakshatra that goes out and grasps what it wants. Khujavat Ketu. So, we can always say that the Mars in the sixth house is one of the best plas uh, placements that Mars can have. Till we meet with Please you again. Please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.